Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineering Studies channel. In this video, we are going to see all about PySpark explode function and all its variants explode outer, positional explode and positional explode outer functions. The explode function is used to create new rows for each element when we pass an array or a map. Default column name is called for elements in array and if the array is null, the row will be eliminated. Let's take an example of a data set which has name and locations and some of the names has more than one locations. For example, Bob has the location New York and Boston, whereas for Peter, the location is none. While creating data frame for this data set, we will get name in string as well as location which is in array. When we pass location to explode function, we will get new row for each element of an array. In this example, Peter has the array of none. So if the array is none, the record will be eliminated in the explode function. Let's see explode function with a practical example. First, let's import the Spark session. Let me run this. My Spark session is up and running. Now, I am going to initialize my data set, which has name and the locations. As I said, some of the names has more than one location and some of the names, for example, Peter doesn't have a location. Let me run this. Now, I am going to create data frame for this data set using create data frame function. Let me run this. My data frame is created, which has name, which is in string format and location, which is in array format. Now I'm going to import the explode function and pass location as an argument. And I'm going to print the name and the location. Let me run this. If you see here, a new column which is string got created and I got new rows for each element. If a particular record has no location, that record got eliminated in the explode function. Now let's see how explode function works when we pass a map. Explode function returns a new row for each element in a given map. Default column name is key and value for elements in the map. If map is null, that row will be eliminated. Let's take an example of this data set, which has the names and their favorites. The favorites are in map data type, which contains their favorite cosine and their favorite color in key value pairs. One of the name Peter doesn't have a favorite. If you create a data frame for this data set, we will get two columns, which is name and favorites. The name column is in string data type and the favorites is in map data type. When we pass the favorites to the export function, the export function returns new row for each element of the map. We got two new columns, key and values. Key contains the corresponding keys and the values contains the corresponding values. For Peter and Sam, the favorites are none and blank respectively. So the explode function didn't return those two records. First, let me initialize my data set, which has names and their favorites, which is in key value pairs. Let me run this. Now I'm creating data frame for my data set using create data frame function. Let me create my data frame. If you see the schema, we have name, which is in string format and the favorites, which is in map format, which has key and the value, which is in string format. And here is my data frame created. Now let me pass the favorites column to the explode function and print the name and the favorites. Let me run this. If you see here, two new columns, key and the value which is in string got created and we got new row for each element of the map. Since a map column for Peter and Sam is null and blank respectively, those two records got eliminated in the data frame created by the explode function. 
Now coming to explode outer function, if the array or map is null or empty, then explode outer function returns null. In this example, for Peter, the array is null. So when we pass location which is an array to the explode outer function, for Peter, null will be populated. Now let's see the practical implementation of explode outer function using input array. Let's take the same example that we used for explode function. Now let's pass the locations to the explode outer function. I am importing the explode outer function and passing the location to the explode outer function. Let me run it. Here is the result. When passing the location to the explode function, Peter is not populated. Whereas in the explode outer function, we see Peter and null is returned. Coming to explode outer function, if the map is none or blank, explode outer function returns null. In this example, for Peter and Sam is none and blank respectively. When we pass location to the explode outer function, null is returned for Peter and Sam. Now let's see the practical implementation of explode outer function using the input as map. Let me do that. I am importing the explode outer function and passing the favorites which is a map. Let me run this. In this example, for Peter and Sam, the map is null and empty. For those two records, we see the output as null. Positional explode is very similar to explode function. When an array or map is passed, positional explode function also create a positional column for each element of an array or a map. So in this example, Bob has two locations. So the positions are 0 and 1. Since Python indexing starts from 0. Let's see the practical implementation of the positional explode function. Let's take the same data set which has name and the locations. We see that the explode function created new record for each element of the list. When it comes to positional explode function, I am importing the positional explode function and passing the locations to the positional explode function. Let me run this. The output is very similar to explode function. The only difference is that positional explode function also creates a positional column for each element. When we pass a map to the positional explode function, positional explode function creates a positional column for each element of the map. If the map is null or blank, that record will be eliminated. Let's take the practical implementation of positional explode function with the input as a map. Here is the same data set that we used for our previous exercise which has name and their favorites which is a map. Let's pass the favorites to the positional explode function and see how the results looks like. Let's do that. I am importing the positional explode function and passing the favorites to the positional explode function and I am also printing the names. Let's run this. We got a similar result of an explode function. The only difference is that the positional explode function also created a positional column for each element. And similar to the explode function, even in the positional explode function, the null records are eliminated. Positional explode outer function is very similar to explode outer function. The only difference is that the positional explode outer function also create a positional column for each element of the list. And similar to explode outer function, if there is a null record, the null record will also be populated in the output. Let's take a practical implementation of the positional explode outer function with the input of an array. Let's implement that. I am importing the positional explode outer function and passing the location which is an array to the positional explode outer function. Let's me run this. 
we got a similar result of an explode outer function the only difference is that positional explode outer function created a positional column for each element in this example peter has an array of none since the array is none the position is also populated as none when it comes to positional explode outer function with the input as map we get a similar result like explode outer function the only difference is that positional explode outer function also create a positional column for each element of the map let's take a practical implementation of positional explode outer function with the input as a map we are using the same data set that we used in our previous exercises let me pass the favorites to the positional explode outer function let me do that i am importing the positional explode outer function and passing the favorites to the positional explode function and i am also populating the name let me run this we got a similar result of an explode outer function the only difference is that positional explode outer function also created a positional column for each element of the map for peter and sam the map is blank and null respectively so in the positions column null is populated for these two records i hope this video is very useful for you and you got a fair idea of explode function and all its variants i'll see you in the next video thank you